this is dumb, but fuck it, we're doing that. That's too funny. Just gonna make this quite the time-consuming war, but I think that'll be fine. Democracy lets fascism take hold? I wish. Maybe I will go fascist in this. I'll have to see uh, how the flags look. Honestly, the biggest threat to us at this point is... Uh, is the... Uh, it's like the enemy rebels and their ability to mess us up. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> to fight their their darn rebels. How annoying. So be it. I'm basically completely annihilating my possibility of having an army. Proletariat dictatorship. Semi-constitutional monarchy is my favorite. No, I like absolute monarchy in this game. Once HPM added the decision or the ability to dissolve the upper house, I definitely have become a disciple of that type of government. Like yeah, sure. Want to join my war? No. Nope. Well then, why the hell did you ally me? It's like what you're supposed to do when uh, when you ally someone. You know, you help them in their wars. That's like the whole point. Yeah, let's make sure we secure. Also, I'm just realized I might not actually be able to walk over to the provinces I asked for. Signing a colonial policy. Um, do I want settlement or not? That militancy's reduction is pretty nice. Yeah. When Green Forest ignores you? I do? Imagine going ANCAP and not having your country. <laughs> there should be more side effects to being authoritarian. Well, the side effects is that your people keep revolting all the time. So, there are definitely... Uh... There are definitely uh, very big side effects. Yeah, I guess the big problem about taking settlement here is the fact that I uh, I lose all my money, which isn't very good at when you're at war. That is how things will be this time. Damn it! I've lost my camera. Yeah, this is, see, this is the downside of not paying or having any military spending, is the fact that, you know, no one wants to be soldiers. So I started, in the beginning I had the ability to recruit 22 possible brigades. I'm down to 10 now. I said hello, you did? Are you sure about that? Oh, you did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they revolt all the time, even if you're just H... Yeah, well... That's why I like to, that's why I like to like slowly but surely divvy out the political reforms. And the advantage of an absolute monarchy is that you can force through social reforms, meaning you don't have to do shit that, you know, give them meetings and stuff like that. Because that just increases their political awareness, which I'm not entirely sure what does, but I'm pretty sure it like gives you rebels and bullshit. Right, I'm going to try and fight the enemy navy actually. I do kind of need the ability to cross the strait here. Yeah, he's not even going to fight me. Okay. I'll just sneak across then. 
Oh, never mind. He's actually willing to give up right now. So I wouldn't be able to add any... Oh god, I can totally add more shit. Part of me wants to just wait this one out so I can add another state, but... Go Gominus? No. Best flag? Hmm. Government, go, uh, communist government in this game should have special mechanics. They do have some special things, like you can genocide all the capitalists and... Uh, well, I guess the only sp all the special mechanic is that your... Um, uh, yeah, capitalists don't build factories since you have to do everything manually. Which is not very fun. Commie Venice? Nah, I'm not gonna go communist. Either fashion... I mean, the, the, the thing I really would want, obviously, is to become a monarchy, but... Uh, that's not very easy in this game. Alright, uh, can anyone think of anything I would want? Anything for 7 infamy? 6 more like, actually? What could I do to these guys for that kind of infamy? So just, just to hurt them a bit. Could free a single... I couldn't even free it. Nah, I can't do shit, actually. I could take Aleppo. Take Palestine. Palestine is a state, and so it's too much. It's 11. Um, no, it's not 5. Yeah. In this mod, uh, the, only, the only colony is Aleppo for some reason, and I'm pretty sure that's a bug. <laughs> Just get reactionaries. Yeah, but you, you, well, you, 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 you'd be lucky if you get one level of reactionaries. Um, Zeus is a state too, so it's too much. It's too much infamy. I do have some ideas, though, for how I would go about... Uh... No, I, I don't think I'm going to waste my infamy on Aleppo, because what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to force release Syria at some point, and then I can just annex all of the Levant uh, for five... In maybe not that little infamy, but it's going to be cheaper that way. Trust me, you'll see later on. All right, so there we go. Ah, okay. I just realized that it looks kind of dumb now that I don't have these islands. Oh, but that's fine, actually, because these are Greek cores, which I should be able to get later on, so. Everything is fine, actually. Wow, really? These new provinces I have give me one more brigade? It's pretty sad. Yeah, I really do need to uh, encourage some... Uh, some military, don't I? Damn, that's expensive though. Although I think we can actually afford all this. Yeah. Wow. We're actually making quite a lot of money. Italo Greco Union. Venetian uh, Greco Union. Venetian is its own culture in this mod, so these borders are disgusting. I don't think they're that bad though. This is tolerable. What's your general plan for this campaign, uh, Ciarla? My plan is to just stay Venice and become thick. This is the ultimate blobbing mod, and so blobbing is what we're going to be doing. Let's see, December... Th yeah, we're going to save for uh, idealism. I kind of see our, uh, our path to be kind of like Rome, you know? A Republican city that blobs about and then uh, falls to dictatorship later on. Good morning. Good morning, Bouncy Cookie. Or should I say good evening? Did I finally... Nope. I doubt I ever will. I know the basics, though. But I'm, I don't think I'm, my autism will ever allow me to uh, correctly remember what is 4. No, 4 is IV, right? And then 6 is VI. Maybe I am learning, actually. Can you... Yeah, you can become Italy. But as I said, I don't want to become Italy. It's kind of like how when I played England and I just refused to form Britain because I just didn't feel it. If we want to see me blob and make cancer Italy, then go watch my historical project mod Italy. Have you watched the Dread Big Two stream? Yeah, that that's the real uh, that's the real big brain uh, Victoria Two stream. He starts streaming two a.m. 
Central European time. So I, I can't catch them that often. Bordegor is horrible. What's 50? Oh yeah, I, I don't know. What is 7 even? VII? Yeah, I have no clue. Yeah, they always do that. For whatever reason. Yeah, part of me is actually tempted to go like, in just encourage soldiers. Yeah, 1% soldiers, that's pretty pitiful. I probably should get some basic uh, clergymen going before I start messing around with that. It's not like I'm drowning in literacy, especially now that I keep lobbing into these poor uh, or not very literacy lands over here. Full bureaucrats? Oh yeah. Not at, yeah, I'm making a surprising amount of money. Did I get uh, yeeted out of... Uh, no, I'm still in the sphere of Aragon. Oh, the name placement just changed. Also, I want to ally Iraq. If I can. Because the Ottomans have course on them, and I would prefer it if they... Hey, there we go, though. Great power. So I guess I can actually just sphere them. Who else would I want to spare and whatnot? As I don't really care about... Um, forming Italy. Yeah, Sparing the Italians isn't a big deal. Actually, one thing I want to know as well is... Uh, because I am an Italian nation, can I use that dumb trick I used in my Prussia campaign? Where I, you know, justify... Um, where I justify, like, humiliate on Milan, and then I can just add a war goal to annex them. Get, like, 4%? Yeah. That is the uh, general plan. Gonna need 4% so we get them... Or 2% at first, I guess. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for a second there, I thought the lack of international code was going away, but no. Odds are, though, it's going to be gone soon enough. But yeah, we'll have a couple of years here where we can blob pretty uh, pretty intensely, which is going to be glorious. Illyria has allied Bohemia, though. That's not very nice of them. Who are you going to war with? I don't care. That war is none of my business. Yeah, I should spare Hungary. They have the potential to be a good friend. Yeah, right now I just want to get as much clergy as possible in my high, most highly populated provinces so that I can get my overall... Uh, percentage of uh, clergy high enough. Uh, what is that monstrosity? Yeah, uh, in this timeline, um, the English won the Hundred Years' War, and so the Anglo... Uh, the Anglo-French Kingdom is a thing, so dual monarchy, because, you know, France-England. French Revolution never happened, so there's no tricolor, even if France goes independent. Burgundy ended up as a kingdom instead of getting gobbled up by its neighbors, and yeah. Alternate history. Have you seen the sick? No. Did it get that bad? Dual monarch is ugly. I think it's pretty nice. Although I don't think my current borders are that bad either, so I guess maybe I have a peculiar taste in, um, in borders. Also, holy shit, we actually have quite a lot of uh, militancy. Yeah, if I get uh, if I get reactionaries, I'm totally gonna let them do their thing. Although I think the event that gives us Greek as accepted culture is also going to um, it's also going to make us like a super democracy or whatever. So that's pretty sucky. Oh, 
Our hold on Ismir has allowed the local Greek movement to rise and the city now seen as an integral... Okay. That's neat. Did not know those kinds of events were here, but there we go. Let's get that idealism as quickly as possible. I've been maxing as hard as I can here. But yeah, I need some ideas, guys. Where where do we blob next? Ooh, Jinkoism, very nice. I guess that is one of the advantages of uh, democracy is that you can actually cheese uh, cheese your way into some nice. Um, Jingoism. Super democratic. Maybe you should go do party popularity reactionary. Uh, it would help in um, electing reactionary. But uh, the thing is that po party popularity and party loyalty are different. And the only thing you can do is encourage party loyalty. So party loyalty makes it so that a population, you know. So you can see, you know, the... the clergymen are uh, more conservative than the capitalists so normally they will vote based on the general tendencies of their of their pop essentially but if you have party loyalty uh, they will vote against their own interests because of party loyalty or whatever and so yeah we can uh, try and encourage Loyalty to the reactionary so that they'll get elected. But... The reactionary is getting uh, a party... In, or the, 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 the reactionary is forming a government won't actually impact their standing in the parliament at all. And it's the parliament that votes on laws, or the upper house. And so, it won't matter. Despite loyalty... Ha, I didn't know that, Skiller. Also, yeah, we're about to have a massive revolt in the New World. I should actually put some of my buys on some bouts and get them over to the New World. Also get a little uh, naval base here. Making very good cash now, so we can upgrade all our sheds. We'll help out with the funding of these things. Oh god, Illyria, what are you doing? You took this, did you? Yeah, I kind of want to invade Illyria. I want me some of that southern Serbia and some of that Bosnia. Rightful clay. Would be nice if you could export minorities to the colonies. I guess, but isn't that just an EU4 meme? Did that ever happen, IRL? I guess, yeah, the English yeeted some Irish people to the colonies, but... Not to the point where they literally turned Ireland majority English. Russia did it a lot. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. That's true. Yeah, got me there. So, in before crisis in Asia Minor. Wait, Spain is influencing Hungary? Can you not? Do that maybe that would also be nice if you you know just didn't fucking influence yeah i guess iraq really isn't that important ah oh, he's gonna ban me isn't he fucking rascal no he didn't okay good don't know if i can catch up to him though why is he so efficient at this Oh, no, he stopped. I th yeah, I think the AI just did the calculation that he wasn't going to win there. Alright. 
Ireland speaks English today? Yeah, but that's like linguistic imperialism or whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like how the, uh, you know, most nations in Europe did that. The Sami in Norway speak uh, Norwegian today. The Scottish speak English instead of Scots and Gaelic. The Irish speak English. The Occitan speak French. Catalan, yeah, there might be still some Catalan language in Catalonia. Don't know about that though. Yeah, the Venetians speak Italian, etc., etc. There's a tech tree that gives you more diplo points. There is. I thought it was just a. Uh... Ah, whatever. What culture side of the monarchy? Uh, their main culture is sort of a uh, mix between French and English called Anglois. Uh, but the actual population, yeah, the sort of mixed uh, unity culture is only in Paris and southern England. Um, and then you got French in, you know, these parts of France and of course Breton, Occitan, Welsh, Irish, English, etc. The bullet free. Yeah, but do they actually speak Frisian though? Do they actually speak Frisian? Or is that just some meme that the linguistic map tells you? It's like you know, if you if you look up like linguistics map of uh, Norway, it's gonna tell you that oh they speak Sami in uh, like Indo language map. Like this. These maps love overestimating how many people speak minority languages. Like, I'm sorry, mates. <laughs> There's not this many Sami people left. First of all, this is like Northern Norway is majority Norwegian. And the Sami that live have, have mostly been, uh, or their language has mostly been stolen, or not stolen, but it has been, you know, forcefully assimilated out of them. Yeah, yeah maybe a couple of people who speak Nenets, but let's face it. Like Breton, barely anyone speaks Breton anymore. Galician. Manx, no one speaks Manx. It's a surprising amount of people speak Welsh, but yeah, nah, look at this Irish map. No one speaks Irish anymore. What are you on about? Isn't the problem that there's only like five people? No, no, there's still Sami left. I'm 5% Sami myself, I think. Four to five, I don't know. Don't remember the exact math, but. The problem is more like the, there weren't that many Sami in the first place. Um, people still speak Frisian and Frisian? Huh, well good on them then. So you speak 5% Sami? No. <laughs> I think my mom though was enough. Um... You have said what you say? Okay. Yeah, I think my mom is Sami enough to where she could legally register herself as a Sami. I'm not quite that Sami, but... And I might be wrong on that as well. I do not know that much about my family history, and so... Take it with a big grain of salt that I say that I'm 5% Sami. I swear the percentage uh, Sami that, that I am changes every time I ask my parents. Nation states consolidate languages and cultures. Yeah, it really sucks. That's why I'm proud to be Norwegian, among other things. Norwegian dialects still stand strong. It kind of weirds me out how like everyone in France and everyone in Italy basically speaks. Uh, uh, you know, they they all speak the sort of standardized language. Yeah, we write the standardized language in Norway, but everyone speaks their local dialect. I mean, there are more dialects in Norway than in the United States, to give you an idea of, like, the diversity. I mean, a, a fucking person from... Like, if a native from S Sicily, or a native Sicilian speaker, spoke to a guy from Venice, they would have no way of understanding each other. 
National identity is important, keeping a nation together? Yeah, perhaps, but it's not worth it. The destruction of language and culture is... I'm always going to consider that sad. Isn't Norwegian and Swedish almost the same language? Uh, I understand most Swedish. It's kind of like, I guess... Damn it, I don't know enough about other languages to be able to give a good comparison. But I guess you can compare it to like Swiss German and Berlin German or something. I don't know how different they are. I've heard they're pretty different. Um, Hello I don't know if it's as drastic as uh, Ukrainian and Russian. I don't know how well those guys understand each other. Thanks much for the follow, Zinger TV. What's the culture of Scandinavia? Aren't you Scandinavian? By an expanded definition. Is it like Dutch and German are pretty similar? Yeah, it, it depends, I guess. Like, I, as I said, I can understand Swedish if someone, if some Swedish person spoke to me in Swedish. I can understand most of it. A bunch of words I wouldn't be able to understand. And obviously it depends on the dialect. If it's like Stockholm Swedish, I might be able to grasp it. But if it's a meme dialect from Skåne, then I would be lost. And yeah, for example, I do not understand, uh, I do not understand Danish. A lot of Norwegians do, uh, but I do not understand it. It's far too difficult for me. Like, I, I understand maybe, a, you know, I, I can get an idea of what the person is talking about, but it's too weird for me. And obviously Icelandic and Faroese, and like, that's just a lost cause. Oh, in the game, sorry. <laughs> uh, they're Scandinavian. Kalmar Union never fell apart in this. And so, in the same way that the different Italian cultures in our timeline coalesced into one, uh, the different cultures of Scandinavia coalesced into one in this. Modern Age mod? Never have tried that. Uh, favorite mod is probably HPM. Which is a pretty boring answer, but it is an honest one. Hmm. So the Bohemians are pretty close to wanting to be good friends with us. Which is potentially very nice. But yeah, seriously, lads, I need ideas. Who, who, who are we invading? What are we invading? Romandi? Yeah. Um, that's like language de oil? De oil? Or no, it's language de we, is it? Or something like that. It's like, well, obviously the map is different here, but... Invade the dual monarchy? <laughs> There is an event that uh, the dual monarchy might uh, blow apart. They might like have a revol revolts that split them into France and England and shit like that. Well, I mean, one dumb idea is to invade this guy. And expand my Athesian colony. Claim like uh, Charlize and Alabama and... And that shit. Get some, uh, get some cotton farming going. Oh yeah. 